Hey friends, this is Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. In this video today, I will review a new early 2024 model CarPlay media adapter from one of my favorite brand Autocast. This new model is called Auto AI Box P3. I am a big fan of this brand. I have tested most of their models on my channel and they all worked amazingly well. And even my viewers who bought an Autocast device had very positive feedback about this brand. Now this new P3 model comes in a very unique and compact design with 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. It runs on the Android 12 operating system and it lets you download different apps from the Play Store section. It also comes with a SIM card slot and also HDMI port that lets you connect this device with the backseat screens or you can connect it with your TV at home as an Android TV box. So let's first do the unboxing of this adapter and then I will connect it in my car and test the performance of this new Autocast Auto AI Box P3 CarPlay media adapter. So guys please watch this video till the end. All right, friends, so this is all we get inside this box. So this is the Autocast P3 uh, device, and you get all these items inside the box. So you get the, the user manual. Uh, you get two cables to connect the device with the car. Uh, now, depending on the USB port in your car, you would need to use one of these. So this one is a USB uh, C to A, and this is USB type C to type C. Uh, now, in my car, I've got a type C port, so I will use the type C to C. Um, basically, one end of this connects with the device and the other end connects with the USB port in your car. Uh, then you also get a power extender. Now, in some of the cars, um, you might need external or excess uh, power. Um, basically, when you connect this with your device, it might not switch on. So you need to connect an external uh, additional wire like this one and connect it with another USB source like the cigarette lighter adapter uh, for some additional. Now, this might not be required in all the cases, but in some cases, you might need some additional power for the device to run. Uh, and then finally, you've got this new Autocast P3 CarPlay AI box. Now let's have a closer look at this device. Now I am extremely impressed, to be honest, um, with the design of this device. This is a very nice looking, unique kind of a design. Now it's got all LED lights here. So when you switch on, uh, it's a very nice LED design that appears. Um, it's a very, you've got the name of the logo here, a dial kind of a, a, a design. It's not very heavy. Again, like all other devices, it's all plastic. Um, now looking at the connections here, you've got the HDMI out. So basically you can connect this with the back seat to the rear screens in your car, or you can even connect this device with your TV at home. Uh, you've got the type C connection. This is where you connect these cables that will then connect with the car. Um, and then you've got this area. This is a cap that you have to take off, basically take off the cab, and then you get to see two slots. Uh, not sure if it is clearly visible on the camera, but you've got two slots here. One is for the SIM card and the other one is for the TF or the SD memory card. And you can see I've already installed SD memory card, so we can test that later on in this video. Um, but that's it. So these are all the connections. You've got TF card, SIM card, TI type C for power, and then HDMI out. Now let me take this out. Um, I'll connect this with my car uh, to test the performance of this new Autocast P3 uh, CarPlay media box. So keep watching guys. All right, friends, so I'm in my car and I've got this uh, Autocast P3 uh, AI box with me. Now I will connect this with the screen of my car. Um, and what I'll do is uh, at the same time, I will also see how long does this take to start up and get to the main home page uh, of uh, the Android system. So I've got my stopwatch ready. So let me now first connect this uh, with the system of my car using the same cable that came in the box. All right, so let's see how long does it take. All right, so around 28 seconds, uh, you know, 28 seconds, quite decent speed uh, for a CarPlay box. All right, friends, so this is the main home page or the landing page of the Android 12 operating system on this uh, Autocast Auto AI Box P3 uh, model. 
Uh, now, it looks very, very nice. Uh, you know, the good thing about this uh, user interface is that it's very much customizable. You can change the wallpaper, the color scheme and the themes. Uh, in fact, you can change the widgets here. You can add more pages like this. You can keep on adding more pages and put more shortcuts. You know, you can long press these and move it around. Uh, and you've got so many other uh, options to include on the main page. Um, you've got the speedometer here, you've got the, the weather, time, media playing, some of the settings on this side. On the left side, you've got time and connectivity, um, so Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Uh, you've got this button, which is the home button, takes you the full view of all the apps on this uh, device. Um, now coming back to the main home page, now this takes you to the uh, a shortcut menu area where it shows you the connectivity and also shows you the status of the RAM and the storage, the CPU, internet speed as well uh, and some of the other settings also. Um, now coming back to this main home page and then you have uh, the back button and the home button which is this. So this is a very simple, very easy, user-friendly kind of uh, a layout. The best thing about this layout is that it's very much customizable. As I said, you can play around with it. You can set it up as your uh, as per your preference. Um, now, if you move this up, then you start seeing all the different applications that are pre-installed on this uh, device. Now, as I said earlier, this device comes with a massive 128 gigs of internal storage. So you can go to either the APK installer or you can go to the Play Store and install more apps if you want. But there are quite a few of the pre-installed apps uh, on this device already. Now what I'll do is uh, in order to test the performance of this new device, I will start testing some of the important frequently used applications and functionality. The first thing we'll have to actually do is connect this device with internet. And there are two options to connect this. One is you can either connect this with the mobile hotspot, which I've already done. So you can go to the internet settings and see that my device is already connected with my mobile. Or if you don't wanna do that, you can always insert a data SIM card uh, in the SIM card slot on the device. Uh, that's kind of more convenience. You don't have to connect it um, every now and then. I prefer mobile hotspot because I can then manage my data also. Um, the good thing about the mobile hotspot connection is that once you connect the mobile hotspot like I've done now, if I switch off the car and come back in half an hour or so, the connection will automatically re-establish. So as soon as I switch on the car, the device gets started and then it connects with my mobile for hotspot automatically. So I don't have to reconnect that every time I sit in the car. So that's a quite nice thing. So these are the two options to connect this device with internet. All right, so what we will do in this video in order to test the performance of this AutoCast P3 uh, Auto AI box, I will start testing some of the important frequently used applications. And the first one I would like to test, which I test in all the devices I have on my channel, uh, is YouTube. And what I'm testing here is the time it takes to load an app. As you see, it takes maybe a second or two probably the fastest device when it comes to opening YouTube. You know, I haven't seen any device that, uh, you know, opens YouTube this fast. All right, so this is uh, YouTube, as you can see, it's very quick to load the thumbnails and the images as well. Doesn't take any time. Um, so very impressive device. Again, this is eight gigs of, uh, of RAM. Uh, you know, you don't find any CarPlay device which is more than eight gigs. This is a maximum that you can get in any CarPlay adapter. So, you know, this is the best as, as it comes. Uh, now let's go and check one of the videos. All right, so let's increase the volume and I can use the steering wheel controls to this manage the volume. First ever giveaway video. And in this video, I will be giving away all right, so the volume works and the steering wheel controls also work. Uh, now, the whole point of showing you this video is to check the audio and the video sync. Now, a few people have asked me to check this because in some of the devices, the audio and the video on the video streaming apps are not in sync. And as you can see, it's completely in sync. Unlimited number of the latest Superbox S4 Pro Android TV box to the viewers. Tell you a little bit about this latest All right, and in fact, we can go and change the, the output resolution on, on this device as well. Um, you can, this is 720p and you can in fact go all the way up to 4K uh, resolution, but I do not recommend that. Um, to be honest, on such a small screen, you don't 
uh, need to overload your internet, your uh, device, your YouTube application, you know, 720p as you saw that it's very, very clear, very nice and runs quite smoothly. You don't actually have to, um, you know, change that. At max, you can just go 1080p if you want, but I think 720p is good enough on a such a, such a small car screen. So YouTube as expected, uh, playing quite nicely, extremely impressed with the speed of opening the YouTube app on this device. All right, friends, so this device comes with built-in GPS uh, system um, and uh, you don't really have to connect any external adapter or external antennas for this. As you can see, GPS is installed. In fact, we can go to one of the navigation apps. You can install any navigation app as you want. You've got Google Maps here. You've got the Waze here. So let's click on the Waze app. All right, so quite quick. All right, so the navigation voice is also working. Okay, so as you can see, it's quite nice. Uh, now the screen is also responsive. That's really good. So navigation uh, usually is is fine on most of the CarPlay devices in the market. So you know nothing uh, special here. Now there's another very nice uh, feature on this device, which is called the split screen. And you know this is a feature that you would see in most of the newer. Uh, CarPlay devices and I really love this uh, this function. So basically what you need to do is just uh, go to this shortcut, click on these icons here and then click here, select split screen and then you select the other app that you want to be uh, shown on the side. So you've got navigation on the right side and then you have the YouTube app playing on the left side and you can have any different app uh, combination that you can that you like. So you can have Netflix on the left side, you can have live TV running on the left or in fact on the right side and have the navigation on the left. So the, the driver can focus on the navigation on the left side while you know your family can watch uh, video content on the right side. So I really love this. You, you see that we're not getting a GPS signal because I'm inside a basement parking and that's why probably I'm not getting the signal. Uh, so this is very nice. Now the added feature with the split screen in this device compared to the other devices in the market is a very unique one, which is that you don't really have to have a 50-50% split of the, uh, of the screen. You can change uh, the, the, the ratio. So if you move this a little bit on the right side, then it will change the ratio. So it will give you a bigger size of the YouTube while a smaller navigation. And you can do it the other way around as well, like this. So bigger navigation, smaller uh, this app. Now, this feature you would not find in most of the other devices in the market. You know, most of the devices would have an equal split of the two, but this device allows you to change the ratio as well. You can have a bigger app uh, size for one and uh, a smaller one for the other one. So another very nice upgrade to the split screen function on this device. All right, so now let's uh, test the Netflix app. Um, so let's click on this. All right, so it's quite fast to load. All right, so Netflix, uh, you know, loads quite quickly. Um, so quite impressed with the speed so far. In fact, let's skip uh, this scene. Quite nice. So the clarity is also good. Um, the colors and brightness uh, looks quite nice. Now, there is one way to test uh, the performance or the speed of any of such device is by skipping scenes on any of the video streaming apps, whether YouTube, Netflix or anything. So. We'll double click and skip 10 seconds and let's see how long it takes to skip scenes. That's very nice. It's instant, doesn't take any time to skip scenes. All right, so Netflix seems to be working perfectly fine as well, just like YouTube. Now let's move on. All right, so now let's test uh, my favorite, uh, the live TV app. All right, so let's uh, play some uh, channels. All right, so put it in full screen. All right, so the live TV app is working perfectly fine, you know, quick to start and, uh, you know, very quick to change channels as well. So quite impressed. 
All right, so now let's test the all important wireless car play function. So basically we go to this section and look for the multiplay here. Uh, now this is the main landing page. Uh, you just need to go to the Bluetooth section on your mobile, open the Bluetooth and look for a new device as Auto AI Box P3. This one, click on it, pay the device, allow it to sync contacts and favorites and then use CarPlay. So that's it. Uh, it's uh, a one-time simple uh, setup. You just need to establish the connection between your mobile and the device once and then every time you switch on the car, it automatically connects to your mobile and takes you directly to the Apple CarPlay homepage. All right, so very quick to connect. Now this is the main homepage or the landing page of Apple CarPlay. Um, now it looks the same in any of the CarPlay devices. This is standard uh, look and feel. Now, you know, you can go and change. Uh, in fact, you can look at this is a split screen view where you've got the, the map here. You've got media uh, running on the side. You've got uh, connectivity on this side. Then you've got some shortcut icons. Uh, if you click on this, it takes you to the full app view. Now all these apps are installed on your mobile. Plus they are compatible with the CarPlay system. So I'm not going to explain the functions and features of CarPlay. If you want to know more about it, you can go and watch my other videos. But the whole point here is to check if Apple CarPlay uh, connects on this device and it connects quite nicely, very, very quick to connect. In fact, you can... All right, so now let's connect uh, the wireless uh, Android Auto system. So let's go back to this multiplay. Uh, and now let's go to the Android mobile. I've got my Samsung here. Uh, let's go to the Bluetooth section, open it, look for this new device as Auto AI Box P3. Click on it, pair the device, and that's it. So connecting to the Android Auto system is much faster than CarPlay. It uh, just gives you one message uh, and you confirm the message. And then in a few seconds, the device will connect with the system and take you directly to the home page of Android Auto. Uh, and, uh, which looks uh, just like this. Now, this is the new Android Auto Cool Walk version. Uh, I'm quite, uh, I really like this version. So, you've got the navigation here, and this is a landing page. So, you've got the navigation here, the media running on this side as well. Um, and then uh, you can use the steering wheel controls here as well. I've got some media playing. All right. So, you have that. And then uh, you've got some shortcut uh, icons mentioned here. You can make calls, you can uh, obviously listen to music, you can uh, navigate, navigate as well. Now these dots here takes you to the full view of all the different applications available on the Android Auto system. Um, you've got settings here that allows you to change the look and feel, the wallpaper and all. Um, but you know, everything seems to be for working fine. It's quite, you can get the navigation full screen as well. You just click on the map. Um, all right, so the map is also nice. Uh, the screen is responsive. Um, so just like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto is also working quite nicely on this uh, P3 device. So that's it, friends. This was a very quick review of this new AutoCast Auto AI Box P3 CarPlay Media Adapter. Uh, I must say I'm extremely impressed uh, with this device, especially the speed. It's, uh, it's lightning fast. You know, it takes about 28, 29 seconds to start, which is an average speed. But uh, the time it takes to open applications and to move from one app to another, the split screen, the multifunction, multifunctioning uh, ability, you know, all in all, uh, very, very impressed with this speed. Definitely a very good 8 gigs uh, CarPlay device. Uh, this is a new model. This is their early 2024 launch model. And, uh, and, and they have never disappointed me. You know, these are the big names in CarPlay adapter like the CarLink at MMB. Autocast is, is another very, very well-known, famous uh, brand for creating these very nice, fast and stable devices. I've tested so many of their models on my channel and I have never been disappointed with those uh, devices. Even the, the feedback that I get from my viewers, uh, people who have bought it, has been very, very positive. If you want to buy this, simply go to the link in the description of this video that takes you directly to the official Autocast store where you can buy this new Autocast Auto AI Box P3 CarPlay Media Adapter. So that's it, friends. Thanks for watching this video.